If you pulled one of these rivets, or turned one of these nuts, if you were one of the 2,500 volunteers who helped build the one-week wonder Zenith 750 Cruiser at AirVenture 2014, I and my family would like to thank you for doing such a good job. Hi, it's Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb, and I just came back from a flight in the one-week wonder. Um, it's got about 85 hours on it now, flying beautifully. We're going to let uh, Roger Dubert, chief pilot for Zenith Aircraft, tell us all about it. It's an excellent flying airplane, very smooth, stable. Uh, we got the Rotex 912 IS engine. It uh, performs just as good as I thought it would. Hey, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to go back to Oshkosh this year, and then what's going to happen to it? Well, right now what it's going to do, it's going to stay down here in Florida, and they're going to tour uh, down here in Florida to all the EA chapters until Sun and Fun, and then Sun and Fun, it's going to go to Sun and Fun, and then back to Oshkosh. Uh, probably tour uh, the U.S. Uh, between uh, Sun and Fun and Oshkosh, the local EA chapters. I believe they're always going to keep it as EA and uh, maybe actually uh, take it to different EA chapters and let them use it for a while. You know, uh, as long as they're checked out, qualified, uh, let the EA chapters fly and enjoy it. Because you know, EA is all of us. Like, we haven't had any issues. Uh, everything's flying nice and smooth. Um, probably they were thinking about having it painted a pink scheme, but uh, everybody's enjoying uh, all the signatures and uh, they're going to rethink that if they really want to paint it. But we have from the FA administrators to uh, you know EA presidents to uh, the local uh, kids and everybody that flew to River to actually sign the airplane. So this is the, uh, the new uh, Zenith 750 Cruiser with the uh, Rotax. Uh, 912 IS fuel injected engine and it, uh, it's a new program for, uh, for Zenith Roger. How is it selling and, uh, and uh, what's the feedback from customers been? Well, we're, we is, we're very excited about the 750 Cruiser. We've uh, taken a lot of technology and manufacturing that we've done in the 750 stall, meaning the uh, match told uh, kit. What we've done in the Cruiser though, we've actually uh, enlarged the holes to the correct size, so to decrease the building time, make it just a little bit easier for the builder. Um, we're still selling quite a few of the stole aircraft because a lot of people like that bush type of flying. But the Cruiser is actually about 20 miles an hour faster than the stole, and so some customers want to go a little bit faster but still have the stole capabilities which the Cruiser does have. For an amateur built aircraft built by 2,500 amateurs, it flies pretty straight. Well, uh, to be honest with you, it actually flies better than our company airplane. With all those uh, volunteers, it's just it's amazing how well it uh, flew the first flight. Hey, reporting from a thousand feet above the Florida countryside, this is Russ Niles, reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.